This is a patient who's pregnant in their first trimester and had come in with a history of abdominal pain. And so an MRI was performed to uh, look for a cause of it. Uh, they were worried about acute appendicitis. Um, so if you look at the MR, the, the appendix was okay. There was no acute appendicitis. What we can notice is that on these coronal T2-weighted images, the large bowel is quite distended. You can see these loops here of sigmoid colon, transverse colon, all of it's really distended. Now, if we were to follow the sigmoid colon down a little bit more inferiorly, it's a little bit tough to notice, but there is a little bit of a twist right around this location. It twists around, and as you follow it more inferiorly, notice how small it becomes over there. Let's follow this back up one more time, up over here, up over here. You can start to see it twisting around, and just above that level of the twist, the bowel is quite distended. These are the uh, pelvic uh, FESP images that we also do in these patients. This is the sigmoid colon is distended. Let's follow the tip of it over here. You can start to see that uh, twist, and as it goes down more inferiorly, the, uh, the colon is collapsed over there. And so these findings are classic for a sigmoid volvulus. We often uh, see this on x-rays or CT scans. This was sort of a different case in which uh, we were able to diagnose this on a um, MR imaging study uh, due to the fact that this patient was pregnant.